Hello everyone, in this video we are going to start with pose landmark detection in media pipe. So uh, what it does as you can see from the image it basically takes the image and it finds some important points in the body. So uh, some in the hand then there is the elbow, shoulder, some in the face, again shoulder and then some around the hips, around the knees and also the feet part. So um, the uh, if you look at this so it says the media pipe post landmark task lets you detect landmarks on human bodies or on images or video basically what it does is it, it finds these landmarks okay this task, task uses ml models that work with single images and videos obviously and the task output body poses in 3d dimension we just want two dimension because that is so uh, i have used the python example over here i have just modified the code in order to make sure that we are able to run it on a single uh, image okay uh, what are what are the things that we can feed into the uh, what to say uh, model we can feed the still images we can also feed decoded video frames and also live video feed okay these are some uh, hyperparameters you can see uh, not that important because we will be using the default values which are very very essential very very important for us okay so um, what models we are going to use this so there is uh, one model basically which is a combination of two models okay so it's a, it's like it's like a task it's like a package it's like a bundle so the first model detects the presence of human bodies okay so there are two models as i said so one model detects the presence of human bodies with few key post landmarks okay as it says and the second one is basically that locates the landmarks on the bodies okay so that is called the pose landmarker mo model and the first one is pose detection model okay this bundle uses a cnn obviously similar to uh, mobile net v2 and is optimized for uh, all those things is always there this variant it is this is a variant of a blaze pose model using whom a 3d model pipeline blah 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 okay so what we are trying to do is over here we can choose any of these models i think we will be using the like model over here and you can just click on this particular uh, uh, to say url and get the model downloaded okay it's not very difficult okay as you can see over here these are the landmarks so uh, you know you have some in the face from 0 to 10 then all these landmarks are basically your uh what to say here these are indices okay so we have already seen in the videos before what how to get these indices and we will also be seeing in this particular video as well so these are the indices zero stands for nose one stands for left eye so inner so one is over here it stands for left eye inner and so on and so forth till 33 32 index so means which means 33 uh, uh, key points will be detected so let's start with our particular example so um, the code is as simple as uh, downloading the media pipe installing media pipe and then this model is so this code will be available in the github i'll uh, post the link i'll provide the link in the description you can go there and basically see okay so this is the model this is how we download the model after that we are going to take the image so images again i can show you over here the images this one okay so it's a woman who is sitting down on the road i think it's a road or whatever and uh, you know uh, she's just having some fun in the sun okay basic inputs cv2 matplotlib because we will need that uh, numpy numpy over here and obviously google patches for uh, i'm uh, showing the cv2 images okay so we read the image over here i just resize it to 350 to cross 350 so that i'm able to show and then finally you are show, showing the image actually this image is large it's i think 960 uh, cross 600 something okay so uh, you could do the basic imports of media pipe since we are using python so media pipe dot tasks import python and then you also want to import vision because we will be using vision we are doing a vision tasks task okay so um, uh, our model will be downloaded by if you run this particular uh, this particular line uh, you can see la pose landmarker dot uh, task and that is over here so what you can do is copy and copy path over here okay so um, you can go over here and then paste your model over here model asset path you can paste your uh, to say your model over here you can also do this okay copy and paste uh, after that what we can do is uh, we can also do some segmentation i'll show you the example and you pass the base options uh, options over here that you have defined over here lastly to make the detector you basically pass the options over here to create from options you can pass it over here so this will create your detector after that you have to read the image so image uh, image i have already shown you this is the image so what you do is mp.image.create from file and you will be having that particular image okay now what you can do after that is you have to run the detection so you say detector dot detect and then pass the image so whatever you get the result is saved in detection underscore result okay having said that what you can do is now i need to find what is there in detection result so you do a dir of that 
once you do a dir of that you will find there are three things now we will be using pose landmarks and segmentation masks okay these are the two things we'll be needing so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to again read the image and then find out what is the height and width of the image okay so the way you find the height and width of the image is height width and this is for the channel so that we don't want and that is equals to image dot shape okay having done that what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, mark these landmarks okay so again we read a fresh image the, the same image we'll read and the way we find the detection uh, or to say uh, points is we basically so our uh, result was detection detection underscore result this was our uh, result okay now obviously uh, we are going to use the pose landmark over here right so i'm going to write over here dot pose land marks okay and i'm going to print that now after that what will happen you can see these normalized these normalized landmarks so there are 33 of them okay you can also go and check the length so first i think you'll have to index by zero because if you go on top you're gonna see this is a list inside list and only there is one person so there is only one uh, thing what to say uh, one uh, element in the list which is having 33 elements okay so i'll just take a zero of that i think same thing will be printed below and it does not matter because uh, what to say the same thing is going to come only this uh, first uh, this is the first what to say your element in the list so this is the only thing that will be printed okay so um, once you are done with that what you can do is you can again you can see over here so if you do a len over here it should come 33 because there were 33 or to say normalized landmarks over here so if you run that particular cell uh, I know I have done that before so it will be 33 so what you need to do after that is you are going to basically for every landmark in the detection uh, detection result dot pose landmarks of zero that we have seen above find the x coordinate so if you see over here so okay so we find the x coordinate using int landmarks into and landmarks dot x this is going to give you x coordinate okay so this is 33 but i want the first one just to make sure that i'm able to show you what you what i want to show you okay so if you run that particular thing yes you can see over here dot x yeah dot y these are the only things we want so l marks dot x and l marks dot y now these are as you can see normalized they are between 0 and 1 0 and 1 over here so in order to make it uh, uh you know um in the uh, in, uh, basically what you want is the real coordinates so for that what you want to do is you will take this and multiply with the w which is the which is the width of the particular image okay again you can do the l marks dot y and multiply it with the height of the image so you will get the y coordinate once you do that for every landmark what you're going to do you're going to cv2 dot circle which is basically going to create a circle and the uh, center of the circle is x chord y chord which you have basically found over here after that you are putting the radius as 5 the color is bgr that is uh, Z, uh, 255 here is green okay so which means we are going to have a pure green and minus 1 means we are going to have a full circle it's going to be filled okay after that again you resize the image so that we are able to show and then you, what you do is you print the image see we do i'm sure so as you can see there are uh, green dots over here uh, you can see there are uh, these green dots are basically the th all the th 33 points that we had seen okay now we will talk about the segmentation mask so what you will do is you will take the same detection result and inst instead of land uh, what to say uh, uh, pose landmarks instead of pose landmarks you're going to have segmentation dot masks how did i know that so you go over to the top over here and you can see there was segmentation mask. there was segmentation mask over here so this is what we wanted okay so you have that you you what you what you do is uh, basically you take the zeroth element of that same thing it's a list inside list so what you get is you get something like this okay then you do a numpy view you see over here is there is a numpy view so what you do is you get this particular um, mask it's a it's an array of uh, it's a two dimensional array of uh, numbers basically uh, in numpy in numpy so what you do is you take that and you try to figure out okay what is what are the values so you flatten everything you do a numpy dot view, view that we had seen over here you flatten everything and then you plot a histogram so these are basically the confidence so uh, wherever there is background the confidence is very close to zero and wherever there is foreground confidence is almost close to one so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a mask over here okay the mask um, what i'm saying is whenever the confidence over here as you can see is greater than 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 is over here whenever it is 0 0.7 make it 255 
or wherever it is uh, which is not the case when this is not the case that is the confidence is less than 0 0.7 that is somewhere over here you keep it as 0 then convert the type to u int 8 so that it is uh, in the image form and then finally what you do is you im show that is cv2 dot im show so you basically im show the mask and you can see the uh, what to say your uh, mask is created now what i want is i want to actually remove the person from the background and to do that what you do simple is uh, so you read the particular image again and you do a bitwise and width of the image which is img you can see over here we are reading the image img again and mask will be the mask that we have seen above over here after that again the you, you resize the mask to 300 cross 300 or 350 cross 350 doesn't matter then you also uh, take the image original image and again uh, con convert it to 3 cross uh, 300 cross 300 then you concatenate in the uh, to say that x is equal to 1 basically you, so that we can show them side by side so if you see over here this is the person uh, this is the person and the background has been removed you can see the full image over here okay so uh, so that was it for this video so the code will be there in the description uh, or rather the link for the code will be there in the description if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you very much and bye